Hi, and welcome to my studio. We're going to be looking at some of the software and hardware machines that I use for my sound design projects and, and music projects. Um, this is my computer workstation desk area, and uh, here at the center of it all is my MacBook Pro. And I'm running the Logic Audio, running a session here for one project. And I also run my iPad, which you see over here. And I run a lot of different audio apps with that in conjunction with MacBook to get lots of new sounds. And I sample quite a bit from it. And what you see here is the OP1 from Teenage Engineering. I use this as a MIDI controller. And I also use it to sequence and create new sounds and sample new sounds in and going back and forth through the computer is sort of a mini workstation, so to speak. And to the right over here, is the Moog Minotaur. I use this and do a lot of sampling with that as well into the computer for projects and creating bass sounds and whatnot. And my monitors up here that I use on this side are the Genelec 6010s with the 5040 sub. And uh, here's my monitor controller here. And over to the right of my computer workstation desk, we have uh, a rack here. Um, and on top of that, we have the Rhizome SXE, which is a workstation controller uh, environment that does sampling and editing. And you can use plugins and do all kinds of crazy fun stuff with that. And just beneath that, we have the Korg Radius synthesizer. Um, and underneath that is the Origin from Arturia. And I worked doing sound design in both of these two synths. And just beneath that is the Nord G1 modular, uh, which was one of the first Nords that I had gotten. And I've used this for many, many years on different records and different projects. Um, very cool synth. And at the bottom here at the rack is the Capybara 320 from Symbolic Sound, which is running the Kima system software, um, which I use for many of my projects and day-to-day -day, um, sound design. So in this area is where I do a lot of mastering and mix downs for a lot of my projects. And the desk is centered around the Yamaha DM2000. And over to the right, uh, I have a host of different outboard effects processors, analog digital converters, mic pre's, um, and a monitor controller sitting on the desk to the right from the central station. And the eMagic MIDI interface, which is MIDI interfacing a lot of the uh, synths running in from the left and right hand side of the desk. And to the left over here we have um, a host of some of my favorite effects processors from the Eventide H8000 up here at the top. Um, my Pro Tools system, the Lexicon PCM92, and the Eventide Eclipse. And everything is basically running from my uh, Apollo Quad from Universal Audio and my UFX from Army, which is just beneath that. And the way I connect to these is via a laptop with the uh, Thunderbolt connection here that I have running out from the desk here and a USB connection to control the printers on the board. And I designed this desk to work with a iPad and a laptop because I travel quite a bit and I like to do more work on my iPad these days than I like to do on a desktop machine. So I redesigned it to be basically plug and play with the computer. And so that's basically my simplified um, setup. The Thunderbolt connection goes to the back of the Apollo, and then I run another Thunderbolt adapter that runs to the TV, as you can see here above the mixing desk, which is running one of my Logic sessions. And that's pretty much how I do a lot of the uh, mixed sounds for TV spots and video games and stuff. And on this side of the uh, studio, we've got a couple more analog synths. The uh, Moog Little Fatty on top here. And just underneath that is the Roland Jupiter 6 that I had modified with the Europa upgrade and the uh, light bender mod you see here for the pitch bend. Um, just beneath that is the Korg Oasis um, that I do a lot of sound design with. And I actually did some sound design with Korg on this, this model. And over to the right here is one of my favorite uh, baseline analog synthesizers is the Roland TB303 and has had the devil fish modification and it's got a couple of LEDs there blue and white for the start and stop switch 
and over here to the right and kind of pouring out onto the floor here uh, is some of my Eurorack modular systems that I've been using for the, around I'd say about four or five years I've been really getting into these so this is basically what I call a Frankenstein system of different stuff and there's modules from many different manufacturers Intelligel, Tiptop, Harvestman um, we've got a make noise system here um, we've got a couple of rows of Schwemann and the S1 synth that's over here, one of my favorite um, sending modular synthesizers. And there's quite a bit of different uh, modules over here from Dofer and uh, 4MS, Bubble Sound, and Livewire. And you can see a couple other devices here. We've got uh, stuff from ADAC Systems, more tip top stuff, um, synthesis technology. I'm running the Kenton Pro Solo MIDI to CV converter and clocking that is the OctaTrack from Electron and I have that running into this and then out from that into the Analog 4 which is also doing a bit of CV sequencing um, to some of the Eurorack modules that I have in here so I'm kind of clocking everything from this and it's been a lot of fun lately with that and over here in this area you can see there's uh, the Make Noise Shared System modular that I've been doing my creature performances with lately. And here's another custom rack of uh, make noise modules, the pressure points and brains, doing a lot of sequencing. And this is my tip top case that's got a lot of custom digital and hybrid oscillators um, from the Harvest Man and Synthesis Technology and a host of other stuff. The Cycle Box is just another favorite oscillator of mine. And some others, LFOs. Um, random noise sources here, random generator, and um, the Mongo Systems Geo granular processing module. And over here to the right is one of the first modular synthesizers I'd gotten from a dear friend of mine named Tim Adams. And he had built this um, many, many years ago before the analog craze had happened. And uh, this one's one I've used on countless projects in the past. And uh, just above that is the uh, MS-20.
Thank mm-hmm. you.